In the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 22, the Bible says, Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. And so this passage of scripture explains that if it wasn't for the Lord's mercy, then you and I would have been consumed. Consumed by the devil. If it wasn't for the Lord's mercy, then you and I would have been consumed by sickness, by sin and by darkness. But the fact is, we are saved, we are redeemed, we are free, and we have the victory through Jesus Christ. And so I thank God for his love. I thank him for being my fortress. I thank God for his compassion, which the Bible says never fails. And so this verse in Lamentations should take on a deeper meaning within your heart. You and I should be boldly declaring that it's through the Lord's mercies that I am not consumed. It's because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. And indeed, great is his faithfulness. We are truly blessed to have a saviour who offers us brand new mercies and compassions every morning. Each day, we are given enough grace, enough strength to face whatever comes our way. And yes, we do have our ups and downs, but God is still faithful, and God will remain faithful through all of our highs and lows. And it's with that understanding that we should be praying. Praying and thanking him for his never-ending compassion, for his mercy and for his love. Dear Lord, my heavenly Father, you deserve all of the glory and all of the honour. I stand in awe of your goodness to me. I am grateful for the gift of life and for the opportunity to see a brand new day filled with unlimited possibilities through your grace, Lord. Thank you for your blessings and mercy upon my life, even though I am undeserving of all of the goodness and kindness that you have shown me. I praise you for still loving me regardless. And just as the psalmist said, I ask of you today that you cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning. For in you do I trust. Cause me to know the way in which I should walk. For I lift up my soul to you. Lord, I look to you because you are my only hope and I place my trust in you, even as I commit the proceedings of this day into your hands. Please direct my steps. May you show me your way and keep me in your will today. I know that you already have a purpose for me, and I pray that you will reveal your plans for my life through your Holy Spirit. I am reminded in Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to trust in the Lord with all of my heart and lean not on my own understanding and in all my ways I will acknowledge you and you shall direct my paths. And so today I place my trust in you and I pray that you will lead me into all things righteous, into all things that are pleasing to you. 
direct every single one of my steps, Lord. When the temptation to do my own thing and to rely on myself arises, I pray that you strengthen my resolve to stand and trust in you. Help me to resist the urge to step out of your will and keep me committed to a righteous path, Lord. May you please guide me in all of my decisions, in all of my words and in my interactions today. May your word and your praises be always on my tongue so that I can share your goodness with others and so that I can share my testimony with those who desire to know you more. I pray, Lord, that my words are seasoned with grace and have a positive influence, a godly influence that only brings out the best in others. Remove the urge within me, Lord, to retaliate when I am hurt by others and help me to be the light that you have called me to be as I embrace this new day. Guide me, Lord, and give me wisdom Give me understanding as I make my decisions. Help me to have comprehension about the gravity of my choices so that I will choose wisely. Send your Holy Spirit to be the still small voice that will advise me, to be the voice that counsels me to walk and stay in your will, Lord. You already know all of the challenges that I will face today and you have already provided a way of escape from every temptation. Help me to stop and listen to your directions so that I will not run ahead of your plans for my life. Help me to completely rely on you, to totally depend on you for guidance, for strength, provision and protection. Forgive me for any moments of self-sufficiency, any moments where I have thought that I can do this on my own. I pray that you may always remind me that all that I am and all that I have, I owe it all to you. Father, please protect me so that I may not venture into uncharted territories or expose myself to unholy things. As the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour, Lord, I pray that you keep me safe from his attacks. David reminds me in Psalm 127 verse 1, that unless the Lord builds the house, they labour in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It's for this reason that I am seeking your coverage. It's because you are all-seeing, all-powerful, and you are the one who can beat back the forces of darkness. I am unable to protect myself. I am unable to strengthen myself. And so I need your intervention. I need you to remove any feelings of doubt and insecurity, any feelings of worry and anxiety, and help me to stand on your promise that you will never leave me nor forsake me. I am grateful to be called a child of God and as I commit my life, my family, my home and my plans into your hands today, I trust and believe that you will take charge. Your word reminds me in the third book of John chapter 2 that beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. 
Father, may you wrap me in your love and protection today. I seek an abundant life within you. I know the plans that you have for me are not to harm me, but to give me peace. And I stand on these promises as I face this day. I claim your blessings, your protection, your wisdom and strength over my life. I stand ready to humbly serve you, Lord, to honour you and to glorify your name in this world. Grant me a productive day and help me so that I will be able to achieve all of my goals through Christ who gives me strength. Remove all the roadblocks to my success and may I never forget to give you all the glory and all the honour. All the glory and honour that only you deserve as the author of my life. I bless your precious name and I am grateful for you listening to this prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.